You just uh, mentioned something about how to develop the connection with the children. Mm -hmm. My biggest uh, question will be, if we lost the connection, how the parents can restore the connection between the kids and us? We have five simple tools. We call mm -hmm. them listening tools mm -hmm. because they all involve a parent listening. Okay. Because and listening is important because it is a very powerful way to build connection mm -hmm. between mm -hmm. people. Listening is a way to show respect. Mm -hmm. It's a way to show warmth. It's a way to convey caring. Mm -hmm. And you know how you are on the inside while you're listening needs to be warm and open if you're really listening. You can, you can be quiet, but that's not really listening. Listening is being warm and open and receptive to who the other person is and how they feel. Mm -hmm. The five listening tools that we've developed are, um, the first one is special time, giving child one-way time with you, where you listen and follow their, mm -hmm. their lead. Um, play listening, which is getting children laughing again and again, mm -hmm. um, not by tickling, but just something funny happens and you make it happen again and again, because laughter is a very, very powerful connector between human beings. Um, setting limits, which is keeping a child safe, even when their behavior is really nutty, it's really stopping that behavior mm -hmm. so that your child doesn't ruin their relationships with other people and what we call stay listening, which is staying with a child who's having really big feelings and offering them your listening so they can pour out feelings and in pours your love instead. And the fifth tool, which is also very important, is what we call listening partnerships. That's mm -hmm. getting parents listening to one another because parenting is a very difficult job and we are full of feelings about parenting. Mm -hmm. We feel sad when we leave our children in the morning. We feel sad and upset mm -hmm. when they fight with other children. We feel worried when they won't do their homework, um, when they won't eat their dinner. We feel sad when, they, when we have to put them to bed and we haven't had enough time with them. Mm -hmm. We have many feelings about parenting and so we get parents listening to one another so that we also have an emotional outlet a way to get rid of the emotional tension so we can be more pleased with ourselves and be more pleased with our children. And these are five different ways that we can improve our ability to connect with our children. So these five simple tools help you connect in the first place and build a stronger connection. And secondarily, they help you restore the connection and what's interesting is when children don't feel connected and you come in and pay attention, mm -hmm. they are going to have big feelings. They're either mm -hmm. going to laugh a lot or they're going to need to cry a lot mm -hmm. because the disconnection left bad feelings. Mm -hmm. And in order to feel you there again, they need to offload those feelings. So it's actually good mm -hmm. when children cry several times during the day. You mm -hmm. have many opportunities to help them feel closer to mm -hmm. you and help them feel supported.